while I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box, and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to... Uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Happy weekend, friends. Let's go through this so we can jump on and do my DIY that I pray will be right. So let's talk all things Club Couture. Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month without fail. The uh, To join Club Couture, it's only $19.99 plus tax in the US, $26.99 plus tax in Canada. Now, what will you receive? Every single month, you will receive an exclusive size B transfer that only Club Couture customers and designers can get, along with three coordinating chalk paste singles. But that's not all, you guys. Once you join my Club Couture, you will gain access into my private VIP Club Couture group, where I go live every single month without fail to make three additional projects so that way you get the most bang for your buck. And you will also get bonus flat rate shipping for being a Club Couture customer. Now, all of my customers currently receive flat rate shipping of $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada. But as one of my Club Couture customers, you will receive bonus flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada. How awesome is that, you guys? That's on your entire order to ship to your door. And finally, you will receive exclusive deals directly from Chalk Couture for my Club Couture customers. This month, the special is you will have access to 13 prior Club Couture transfers that we do still have available that you can bring home for only $7.50, which is 50% off. How amazing is that? Now, if you are interested in joining Club Couture, right in the description down below um, on both Facebook and YouTube, all of the details about Club Couture along with the link to sign up will be there. Now, let's talk about my other favorite thing to discuss, and that is the ability to purchase your business in a box and join my team and launch your empire. This is our amazing uh, new designer kit, aka Business in a Box. It's everything you need to go ahead and jumpstart your business. Now, to join my team and to become a designer, it is only $99 plus tax and shipping in the US, $135 plus tax and shipping in Canada. Your box will be a value of $250 in the US, $330 in Canada, and it's going to contain five three ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, our gorgeous autumn winter catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers along with that monthly Club Couture transfer, which is at Fall Blessings. And it is super hot right now, you guys. 
Now, I realize I threw a lot of details out at you and you might be saying to yourself, Jess, that's a whole lot of info and I still got questions. No worries, I have your answers. All you need to do is comment join down below and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be a decision you're happy with. Okay, here's a little something for all of my brand new friends who are just joining me um, and who maybe have never heard of Chalk Couture before. So let's see. Hi, Dion. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Kim. Hey, Vern. Hi, Val. Hi, Kat. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Jean. Hey, Lisa Button. Thank you for sprinkling. Good morning, Lynn. How are you, girl? Hi, Daddy. How are you? Okay, you guys. Happy early morning chocolate and coffee. My Ray Den of the day, which I feel like I haven't showed in forever, is Hello Fall. Ooh, I love it. And actually, because I ordered off Amazon Fresh, they didn't have the normal stuff that I get, but I got Maxwell House Colombian, and I'm pretty impressed with it. It's actually not so bad. Usually Maxwell House is pretty bitter to me, but this isn't so bad, so I'm enjoying it. Tell me what you guys have in your cups today, and let me know if you're drinking out of a Ray Dunn and what it says. Okay, so number one, I saw Lisa Batten sprinkled. Thank you for sprinkling. I will get your name written down to put into the share bag. Because, as you know, every time you sprinkle, you, or S-H-A-R-E, um, your name goes into my little bag of tricks that I keep. And every Sunday when I go live, I will pick a winner to win some happy mail for me. Can't tell you what it is. It's just something fun um, or something that maybe I may have made. It's Can't really tell you what it is. So, anywho. Hi. Let's see. Oh, Starbucks. Yes, Dion. I need my Starbucks today. Hi, Connie. Hi, Gail. How are you? Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Dottie. Good morning, Kathleen. How are you guys? So, two things. Number one, um, I do still have, I think I'm down to just two, but, oh wait, don't do it yet. Don't comment it yet. I forgot to activate it. Goodness gracious me. Hold on. Don't comment it. Let's save you on Facebook. Let's edit it. Hold on one sec, guys. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. I want to change that post. Yikes, to be today's post. Save it, activate it. There it goes. Okay, you guys, if you want to comment box down below, I still have two or maybe three of my awesome boxes that I put together um, for my bundle for the week, my bundle box. Um, next week, we will change it up, and I already have a really cute idea for what I want to do next week. So if you are interested in seeing what it is, just got a comment box down below, and my bot will send you all of the details that you need. Um, now, this only works on Facebook, and um, you have to be on my business page for the information to come. If you're in my VIP group, it's not going to work. You have to jump over to my business page to see the actual link. And YouTube, if you comment it, I'll just message you the details over, but it'll have to be after the live, so just so you know that. Um, so there's that. Hi, Kayleen. Hi, Karen. How are you guys? Thank you for sprinkling, Debbie Green. Um, cat mom. Yes, Leanne. I love it. And thank you, Miriam, for sprinkling. Wait, what about Radon mugs in Kentucky? What is that? Thank you, Burn, for sprinkling. Marianne. Yay. Thanks, guys. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me write these down. The other night, I had to go in and do it afterward. Debbie Green. Marianne. C-E-C-O-L-A. Someone else. Someone else. Still trying to find Dunn in Kentucky. Wow, you still can't find it? That's so crazy. That is so, so crazy. Nana. Oh, can't, Connie, I love that. Ray Dunn saying, pause, Kathy Wilkie. I love it, too. I love it. There were three people I saw sprinkled, and I can't find the other one. Who was it? Maybe it was only two. Mary Ann and Debbie Green. Okay. I thought I saw someone else, but that's okay. Now, someone in my VIP group, I see comment in box, but it's not going to work. Lynn, you got to jump over to my business page because it won't work there. But Or you could just wait until after the live and I'll send you the details. I did redo my craft room, Kayleen. It's still a hot mess, but I redid it a little bit better. Hi, Cindy. I love your space. Oh, thanks, Sharon. I know I'm not in a box anymore, right? It's so funny. Okay. Um, so, another quick thing. If you go into my online store and make a purchase of $40 or more, I have five, I forgot to say it yesterday, five happy fall 
scratch offs. And there's some good things under these ones. That's why I put a minimum on it. Um, so, um, you have to do it while I'm live. And once you get it done while I'm live, uh, just say hashtag happy fall and you're, it will instantly be pulled to give you your card. Just so you know. Okay. Thanks, Kayleen. Burn, you got to do box on my actual business page, not the VIP group. Just let me know um, when you do it. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Guess what? I have a special guest this morning because I'm afraid I'm going to jack it all up. So the hubby is in here and he is going to help us, uh, help me, I should say, with creating this awesome tear tray. Now, obviously this inspiration is not for me. I had an idea to do it with, uh, with box frames, but I truly love this even more. So really quickly, here is the tear tray that we're going to create. Okay. Um, and it's using all of our stuff. You will need some power tools. You will need hot glue and you're going to need E6000. Now E6000 also comes in a little tube. I don't know that I would trust Gorilla Glue for this, Sometimes Gorilla Glue fails me and it makes me sad, but we're going to see. Okay. So Kat says, hi, big brand. Um, thanks, Kayleen. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get this rocking and rolling. Should we, shall we? Now tomorrow we will actually put all the items on the tier tray that we make. And I'm super pumped for that. All right. So one of these, Jane says, hi, hubby. Thanks for your help. Hello. He says, Hello. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do this. So we are going to need, to make this tiered tray, you are going to need two board and pillar stands. And the reason why you need two is because you actually need, and it's funny because um, when we did the um, little magic balls, we literally only needed this from it as well. We're going to need the pillar part, okay? And hopefully, yes, okay, good. I was hoping I used some of the, my old ones. I have some old ones in my inventory I want to get rid of because I always manage to lose a little peg so there's that so we're going to take that off because we don't need it anyway all right so we are going to Vern you're so funny you're doing it on YouTube now you have to be on my business page on Facebook I'll just message you the details don't worry oh hi Sally how are you Yes, Kayleen, he is so sweet for helping out, huh? All right, so this we can get out of the way. Boop. Okay, now also want to make sure I let you guys know, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time today in my VIP group, I'm having a huge, I'm letting go, uh, well, not letting go, I'm selling it. I'm selling um, some of my older inventory because I did not realize I had as much as I had. And guys, you don't even want to look and see what's back here right now, okay? There's so much stuff that I'm like, all right, I got to make room for the new stuff, So, which means I got to get rid of some of the old stuff. Um, I found a ton, a ton. And Leanne, Leanne, I think you might be someone who would, might be interested. Um, I got the, I have some of the older style box frames. I found a bunch of them when I was cleaning out an area for big brand. I was like, oh my gosh. So make sure you're in my VIP group girl. Um, or message me. Cause I know you were looking for certain ones message me. And before I go live. So I know, um, okay. So we need two of the board and pillar stands. We need the nine by 12, um, Grayson boutique board. And we need the 12 by 18 Grayson boutique board. Okay. So, hi, Marlene. How are you? It used to work on there. Oh, burn. I didn't think it did. All right. Good to know. Hi, Jenny Davis. Long time no see, sunshine. How are you? How are you? How are you? All right. So, I'm opening these boxes so that way they're off my desk because, well, I need them away from my desk. Okay. So, we've got that. I have to throw the boxes over here so I remember to update my inventory because I forgot to take it out. All right. So this is one of, is this one of the new style ones? It is one of the new style ones. So this one will go on the top. So that way you see the new, by new style, I mean, see how it's got that screw. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. I don't know, I want to see something here. 
Doot. Okay, good. All right, so we need these guys. Where are my two? Oh, we'll put them both over here. We need these. Well, we're only going to be using one of them because we're going to really put together the, the whatchamacallit the board and pillar. The other one, we're just going to use that as stand-up decor. We could change out maybe another board and pillar that we have that we want to change out for the holidays, which is what I think I'm going to do with mine because I um, have one up by my kitchen sink. So I want to uh, change that out for the holidays. And right now it's, it's the... Um, I love hugs, I love kisses, but what I really want is help with the dishes. That's currently in it, and it's right by my sink. Okay, trying to get all of these open so that way they're out of the way. Good morning, Rhonda. Oh, Kim, you're funny. I'm really not that creative. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really wish I could be, but Sweet Carrie is the one who, um, who just showed this idea. Like I said, I had the idea of doing it with the box frames, but I slacked and didn't do it with the old ones. I don't want to do it with the new style ones because I think they're kind of bigger, which I personally love for decor, not for a tiered tray. Okay, so we've got that one. Oh, why is this? Oi, oi. Hold on, we're having an avalanche occur. One, two, three. The arms are not long enough. Okay. in the easy way, shall we? There we? Go. I always feel like it's so quiet in here now that like the boys have been back to watching TV upstairs. It's like so quiet. Used to have some background noise. So cat, I am using the Grayson 9x12, the Grayson 12 by 18, and two board and pillar. I'm only one, it will only be one full board and pillar. Okay, let's, let's get all that off. Okay, so all our corners are off. Okay, so this one, the larger one, and I wish I could go, I wish I can make my thing higher. I can't, but it's going to be okay because we're going to want to see the one part more um, because we're going to make this swivel. This is why you need, this is why you need the drill. Like I said, you need a drill. You need E6000. Okay. So which one, so I know is the one that is going to be the top. I'm going to put it together right now. Okay. Really fast. I just want to get it stuck in here. So I know not to use this, this one. Okay. So we've got that set to the side now. Oh wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Okay. So what we're going to wind up doing is drilling a hole through the, oops, I'm way off. Okay. I'm way off. We're going to wind up drilling a hole, right? And this is where big brain comes into play because I don't trust myself right through the center of this surface because we want it to go through into here. Now we're not going to screw it all the way through because we want to leave it on a little bit of a swivel. Okay. Because we want this top part of our to your tray to swivel a bit. Am I like, like really zoomed in or something? I am. Good gosh. Hold on, you guys. Whoops. Hold on. Let's try that again. I was going to say, why does it seem like it's so close? There we go. That's much better. So we're going to drill the hole right through the center. So I think I can do it, but this is why Big Brain is here. He's here for backup. Backup. Hi, this is Madison. Hi, Madison. Hi. Okay. So we got our new drill and I need a drill bit and I'm not entirely sure. Oh wait, hold on. Nope. I have the drill bit because I'm going to use this screw, I think. Yeah. That's going to give me a, a kind of a bunch of a, a, a bit to, to wiggle with. Okay. So I've got this. Okay. All right. Let's see if I, I don't know the secret way that people do. How do I do this? There's like a way that you could push the button and make it like grab onto your bit. I don't know that way. 
So I'm going to do it the way that I know it. Okay, so let's find the center first. So this board winds up measuring 14 inches. Well, that's easy enough. So seven inches in, I'm going to mark it up. So do, 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 do. seven inches. And let's see, wait, hold on. I'm going to go two to 16. So we'll go eight inches. Wait, why does that not look right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is my center line. Okay. So where's my ruler? I know I got one. Here it is. So I'm going to line this up right for my center. Okay. Now it is. 11 inches high, so five and a half inches. So right here, I feel like I need another ruler or something. This is going to be very technical. Wait, do you see how I do this? Seriously not technical at all. But I found my center point. Awesome sauce. So it's right here. Where's my chalk markers? If I were chalk markers, where would I be? Babe, in that little bucket thing, do you see right here behind me? Mm -hmm. Do you see my chalk markers? Just start holding up some that look like markers. They have like black, silver, gold lids, I think, or they're long black things. Yeah, that's one. The lower one back here? Yeah. That appears to be center. Thank you. I'll keep them up front. There should be one more. Oh, no, no. The white one's upstairs. I'll keep them up here now. So I know. Okay. So that appears to be centered, right? Do we agree with that? That looks pretty centered to me. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Are you ready, hubby? Uh, no, but what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you see where I made that dot? I do. All right. I need to drill through it. I'm a little afraid to do it. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't be afraid. I should be like... You should just drill straight down into this. Heck no! Because what if I wreck it? Wreck what? You put something underneath. All right, let's see if this works. Hold on. I'm just going to drill. Oh! No, don't. You can't do it that way. Definitely can't do it standing up. Flat. Why would you hold it up? You can't I don't know. It All right, I'll just go slow. Wait. Hold it down firm, dude. Hold it. Okay. So it doesn't spin on you. Oh, it, it might be goes. working. Oh, no, it's not. Because you know why? I don't know how to put How do you? What's the fancy way to put this in? How do you do it? Show me. Okay. It is fancy because you just push the button and it tightens. Yeah, but that's a, that's a fancy way. Don't you want it to go forward to tighten? Yeah, well, yeah I had it I forward. Yeah, man, look at you Should go. Yeah, yeah, now it's tight. Okay, now I'm not afraid. I mean, I'm afraid, but I'm not afraid. Is that how big a hole has to be? Yes. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, now stop. Hold on, you're not even through yet. Anyway. I know. You guys, don't you love the te technicalness of this? Oh, hi, Madison. Mr. Corner Corner make you lot. It's another one you want to see in center. Good call, Becky. Hi, Cheryl. We even double down on this. Oh, yes. A piece of scrap wood. I've got that. I know. Well, or whatever. That's yes. Put that underneath for now because it's, it's doubled over. So. Okay. Trust me. You'll know once you get through that. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. All right. And yes, a piece of scrap wood. Yes. I have That's that. That's what I was looking for, but... You'll feel once it punches through. Yeah. There's your dent. I know. Well, why'd you stop? Because I got afraid. Keep going until it goes through. Oh. There you go. There it is. There you go. <coughs> Stinks. All right. I didn't wreck my thing. It smells like progress to me, but whatever. It really does. Okay, so we did that part. That was the hard part. Seriously, I think it was. Okay, now don't get rid of that. I need um, a screw now. A screw head thing. Okay, hold on. 
because here's the screw I want to use. That Phillips? Yep. I don't even know what those are for. I think those are for my desk <laughs> that I just got here. Okay. That one looks legit. What did we do? Oh, Debbie Green, say hashtag happy fall and you will get one of the scratch offs, which I'll scratch off in my VIP group. They'll be scratched in my VIP group. Once all of them are filled, they'll be in my VIP group. I only have five, so that's all there is. Okay, so here you go. This looks pretty good. What about this one? Try that one out too. Yeah, that could work too. You want to do that one? Will you change it out for me? Okay. So we've got that part done. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Well, that may not have been... A... Wait, hold on. Wait. I need to keep on drilling, I think. Or can you screw in with a thing like this? Huh? I don't know what the words I'm trying to say. I don't know either. Like, can I use this, that thing, that thing? That's way too long, don't you think? Well, you need extra, it's only oh, that big. You need, you need this to Okay. Do the because now I want to be able to screw into this. Do I need to drill again? Or do you think it'll just take it? You could just take it. Because it's, yeah. Okay, let's see. All right, so. Oh, well, no. You're doing that into that? Yeah. Is that screw long enough? Don't yeah, it's like definitely it long. Yes, it is. Okay. There's plenty of room, and I don't even want it to go all the way tight. Uh, you may want to find the hole in the center first. Give okay. it a little, a little starter. So then when you put that through, it has something to grip. Okay. And then push it in. Okay. Hold on, guys. This is so technical, I'm telling you. So the center part of this, hold that. Look at me using a ruler and everything. Goodness. So it winds up being one and three quarters. So that would be the line in between three quarters going to the one, which I know it. I don't know the number of that. But just use the eye. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. But yeah, we also could just use the eye. You're absolutely right. <laughs> which would be the center of the hole. All right, so maybe I'm just going to do a little itty-bitty drill thing to just get it started. What do you think about that? It's just going to start it. Uh, well, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That did probably... I know. No, I was just trying... nothing. No, yes, it did. It made a little divot, so, so I know. Out, right? Yes. Oh, okay, so I was getting... <laughs> Guys, this is coffee break time. <laughs> Oh, yay, Debbie Green, you've got a happy fall. Okay, where's my marker? So we've got one down, Debbie Green. All right, we have four left. Okay, ready? I feel empowered. I don't want it to go far down. I just want to do a little bit. Just like that, I think. That's enough of a start. Right. That's enough of a start. What did I do? Why does that happen? Uh, okay. All right. Now, what did I do with the thing? Did I give it to you? Yep. Yeah. Can I have the surface? All right. Let's get this out of the way now. I'm going to make a trade with you. Okay. Guys, this is why I... I, 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 I power tools are cool if you know how to use <laughs> I want to take a class at like Home Depot or something. Okay. That was a start. Okay. So now am I thi is my thing on? Okay. Let's see. Is it going the right way? You know if you're lined up with the hole? Yeah. I stuck it in there. I really feel like this is too long. Yeah. It's like wabbling. I don't want this on here. What the hell's wabbling? We wobbling? Wobbling. Hey, how do I get it out? <laughs> it's a new one in my defense, guys. It's a new one. Oh, Cindy, he's probably going to be like, she needs help. 
Ah, I just had him with my husband with a here, honey. <laughs> Bran would happily do it for you, Burn. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Lynn Jewel. Okay, there we go. That feels better. Why is it? It's not working. It's going in and out. This is not. This is. Give me that thing. Needs to be tighter. That might be better. Yes. Okay. Yay! That's awesome. Hey, hold you on, you guys. Yes, I want it to spin. Get in there. I love it. You guys, it's work. It worked. See how it spins? But it's on there. Why do you want it to spin? So that way I can put different things on it. Yeah. I do feel like it needs to go down a little bit further because it's a little bit of a weeble wobble. Can I try that again? Or not. Because I don't think I, I screwed it. It's okay. It, it does exactly what I wanted it to do. Exactly what I wanted it to do. I didn't really want it to w wiggle as much, but I think that's my fault because I may no, have it's used... on the surface though. It's it's, it's touching it... the, the it's touching the bottom piece. Yeah, but there's room for it to move up. Maybe you can drill it down a little more. Wait a second. Let me see this thing. Okay. See how there's still room at the top? Maybe I should unscrew it and drill down a little more. Do you think? Screw it. Yeah, here, look. Move this out of the way. There you go, babe. Yeah. I think because I didn't drill down far enough. Here, where's that drill bit? Yeah, do it. Coffee break! Fran's just drilling it down a little more. Just the tool person, Wilson. Far from it. And thank you for making me feel alone. <laughs> Wait, Susie, I made you feel alone or not feel alone? Rhonda, it's okay. Hubby can do it. My hubby agrees with me. He will do my drilling. <laughs> He'll love it and tell me that's why he still comes here to do the work. <laughs> Put a washer on it. Smart thinking. Wait. Yeah, we still have to un undrill it, though. Unscrew it. Hold on, I'm sure I have a washer. Because we only put together nine bajillion things this summer. I'm sure we have one. Hold tight. A washer would be perfect. It'll be like the depth amount that we need. Let me get my tool stuff. Too. So maybe we should unscrew it and do the washer and that'll make it stay. I'm sure we've got a washer. You always make me save the stuff, which sure? hindsight is really smart of you. That's a lot of nails. Here, this goes with the, the tools. These are the shelf clips. I remember those. You remember from when I had, had you do something else crazy for me in here? You know. Oh, found one. Found this thingy too. Do you think this will help? What's that thingy called? What? A nut or something? You don't need a nut. Where's it going to go? The washer will go in the... The nut can't go anywhere. Yes, it can. I didn't mean the nut. I mean the washer. Yeah, the washer. Not yeah. the nut. Look, you actually put a washer... In that. Under yeah, that's here. what I'm saying. And it'll blend in because it's black. Oh, yes. We are so good, you guys. That's all. That's the only place you need a washer. Okay, well, let's do it. Can we unscrew that? Okay. You guys, isn't he the best? Why? Because you're Telling helping me. me with this. I didn't anything, but okay. 
Oh, I'll have you do something later. Don't worry. I'll help you put, have you help me put something else together. Take out Halloween decorations. You know, all that good stuff. All right, where's the screw thingy? Drill. The drill. That would be what I'm talking about. I guess that yeah, should probably go with the screw. stuff. Is it on the... Yep. There we go. Darlene, where did you get yours at? Keelish Chuck. What's Keelish Chuck? Two words, Keelish Chuck. You need a smaller drill. Maybe your girlfriend, they have a different brand, so I like. Ginny, let me know. I saw one. <laughs> Dang it, not alone, Susie. I thought so. <laughs> Both over and under. Good call, Darlene. All right, so let's get that going. And this going. Debbie Green says this is the best entertainment she's had in a long time. Good morning, Lisa. Love the screw thing. Whatever it's called, right? Oopsie daisy. Okay. Are you using two? Yeah. One on the top, one on the bottom. That should help it. And if it doesn't, I think it's going the wrong way. That's the right. Why does that happen? Am I doing something wrong on this thing? I must be hitting a button I'm not supposed to. You are. Well, that's why I need the old drill back. But I didn't charge that one, so there's that's the reason for that. <laughs> okay, I don't know what button I'm hitting, but I will stop doing that. Needs to go down a little bit more. <clears throat> oh no, look, it's not it's really not as wobbly at all now because of that. Yes, good call. We are golden. Okay, so we've got the middle base done and it swivels. Ooh, I'm so excited. Hold on, I gotta drink my coffee now. Okay, the next part is where we're gonna need, and look, this, you guys, is just gonna sit, oops. Well, we could just, I know what I can do. I can do like a little bit of foam or something underneath there, because I kinda wanted that to hide it, but you know what? I could just always put it off to the side and cover it with something else. It's really not that big of a deal. I'll figure that part out later. Let's get the base put on, okay? I just want to thank you for your lives. You give me so many ideas. Like, right, I'm watching and working on Scarecrows with Snowman on the back. Oh, Jeanette, I'm so happy you like it. I bought myself a match and a Makita's with a drill driver and an impact wrench. What is that, Anna? I don't even know what it is. But you would do better with the keyless pop in and out. Anna, send me the link for that. I have no idea what you're talking about. I am learning how to use power tools, correct? <laughs> Flathead screw. I know. I wasn't thinking of that. I don't have a flathead screw. I don't even know what that is. I mean, I have a screw. I, you, I That's way too fancy for me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, wait, do I have a flathead screw? What does that mean? Top's flat. You have, you have a curve. Look, this is Here, can you give me that? I know. I, I guess I need a flat. Flush. Dang it. Let me have that box. Let me have that bag. Oh, I'll get it. Here. You go through have, I don't think we're going to have one in here. Just see. See if I've got a flathead screw. If not, you guys know that I will change that out. No big deal. I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for, but there we go. Okay. Drywall screws are flat. Drywall screws. We should have tons of them, but they might be super long. Like this one, there's a flathead, but it's not. I don't think it's long enough. Yes, it is too. Give me the drill thing back. We've got long. one. Yeah, I think we do. I think it's look, babe. Look, get yes, it is too. It's the exact same size. Oh, Where's the drill thingy? No you are the best. I I'm Please. telling you, I hit the jackpot with this guy. Mm. I, I say how much that jackpot worth. Wait. <laughs> okay, so this isn't going backwards, right? Is it, it going is. backwards? Okay. All right, you guys, watch this. Okay, we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, I gotta reposition it. That's okay. I'll reposition it. I'm not worried. That's right in the right position. 
This is in the, the right. Next thing someone's oh, going to say to you little... is, how come you don't have a black flathead screw? Because it'll just blend in with the board. I mean, you know. Here's the, here, this might, okay, wait, so what do I do? This that is, button right there pushes it forward or backwards. Yeah, but it also makes go, it weevil go, out. Oh, okay. Nope. Womp womp, because it's not as thick. So I told you. Bam, so go bam, back to what you had. Bam. This isn't like a hardware store, so these ideas are great, but we don't have that. So. <laughs> we have like womp, miscellaneous, womp, uh, womp. you know. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, do we have it's another? It's not as thick. Let me see. Hold, hold the two up again. Um. See, it's a little thin, thinner. Dude, that's way thicker. Yeah. No. You don't have drywall screws that are that thick. You went a little too big on that to start it, so now you have to live and die. What about that one right there? It's not as thick. Black one, corner, bottom right hand side for you. It's too thin. Oh. You went too thick on it, so now you gotta live with it. Gotta live with it. That's all right. We'll figure it out. I'm not. I'm not worried right now. I will make it happen. So we learned. Wait, am I going the right way? We learned that we want to do. We learned that we want to use a flat part because flat a flat head what if i drilled a little bit into the bottom of this to make it sit what? <laughs> now just do what you're doing okay don't listen to one comment no offense <laughs> whoever made that comment just move on do i have a you big washer like comment. quarter inch for under no i was lucky to find these Hi, Susan Tapley. You are terrifying me by putting your hand so close to the drill. <laughs> that way it will be flush to the board. Right, Dana. So you guys remember that part, okay? When you're doing it, you need flat head, um, what's it called? Flat head screw. Yeah, I know, but Phillips oh. head screw. Flat head screw. Yes, correct. Okay, so we've got that part down. Now let's do the base, okay? So. We've got our 12 by 18. Oh, goodness gracious. No, Levita, you're fine. You are fine. Don't you apologize. Don't you apologize at all. He said it was saying because I messed that up. Not you. That was all me, girl. Okay, so here is where we need. Okay, we're going to find the center again. So two to 22 and a half. So it's 11 and a quarter. We need to go 11 and a quarter inches in. So wait, let's actually line this up over here so it'll be easier. So 11 and a quarter inches, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a quarter. So that's center. And then how big is it? Upwards. Hold on. So it winds up being 14 and a half. So seven and a quarter. Actually, we look pretty good right about here. Right? Actually, I wonder if I use my camera. I might be able to find the center even better. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, Jess. You're fine. You guys, I actually think I'm pretty happy with where that is. Okay. Um, pretty, pretty happy with that. Okay. So, yikes. Didn't mean to do that. So, what we need to do for this part is, okay, and it's a little hard to see on the side. Maybe I can have my other camera join in so Brand can hold it. Midway corner to corner. Yes, agreed. Midway corner to corner. I'm trying to use my camera above to see. This is pretty this is pretty even. I'm pretty good with this. Okay. Drill a divot in top pedestal so the size of the screw head so bump base what? Hold on. Drill a divot in the top pedestal. That's what I was saying to Brand. To, to do a little bumping. That's what I was saying. So yeah, that's probably what I'll do. You guys won't need to do that step because you'll just get a flat head Phillips head if that's what you're using drywall screw if you're using a straight head i don't know what that's called i'm starting to get too technical y'all hi melissa okay so there we go 
So now this is where the E6000 part is going to come into play. Okay. Um, I, all I'm going to do, actually, you know what, just for my own crazy peace of mind here, I am going to measure this out. Like I did the top one. It'll, it's just going to make me feel better. So 11 and a quarter, right? Because it's, oh, I'm sorry, not 11, 10 and a quarter. There we go. So 10 and a quarter inches there, and it is 14 inches, 14 and a half. So seven and a quarter here, which will give me, yikes, stop moving. So, oh my gosh, so technical, I'm telling you. That's exactly what this is. So about right here is going to be the center. That looks pretty decent. Yikes, yikes. Oh my gosh. All right, now what I'm going to do is I, now that I know the center, I'm going to attempt my best to put this into the, the center. And I'm going to just draw a circle around so I know where I should be adding my glue. Because, and this is the washable chalk marker, so it's going to come off. I'm, I'm not concerned, you guys. Okay, I'm not worried about it. So, now that I have that done, yeah, that looks pretty good. That's pretty centered. It's not really centered. I lied. Okay, so I'm going to just drop it down a little bit because I did not center it at all. My goodness, that would be more centered. Let's attempt that one. Aren't you guys so glad that I'm doing all the, the craziness so that way you can... You can just have your fun and do it the right way. Much better centered, this circle. Not this one so much. Let's get that out of the way, just so it doesn't impair my vision here. Much better, this one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do... Yes, laser levels. Probably get a clear cup. Totally could do that, but that's okay. We're going to go this way. I, I don't have a clear cup. I've got a red solo cup, but that's not going to work. I'm good with this call. Okay, so now I'm going to use a mix of my E6000, okay, and my hot glue. The hot glue is going to hold it in place for the time being, the E6000 is what's going to give it the for real hold. Okay, you guys? Um, I don't like that it says possible cancer agent. What the hey? Okay, test small area before use, blah, blah, blah. Apply directly to surfaces to be bonded or repaired. Allow 24 hours for curing. Maximum bond strength may not be reached for up to 72 hours. That's perfect because in 24 hours, more than 24 hours, we'll be putting everything together on it. He's rubbing off on you, Kim. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. Okay. Or you're funny, not I'm funny. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get, squeeze this out. Please don't squeeze anywhere onto my skin. Don't do it. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's been a little while since I've used E6000. Cheryl, I see your comment, and that is a great idea. I will definitely keep that in mind for next time for sure. Okay. All right. So, I feel like I have enough on the board. Now I'm going to use some hot glue to help. This is Gorilla Glue in my glue gun right now, you guys. And yes, I did remember to unplug it yesterday, so that is definitely a plus. Okay. 
So let's get it on. Oh, I must use the wrong one. This one. Hooey. Oh, wow, that's like an instant bond almost, actually. Okay. Oh my God, this is so cool. I'm so excited about this. That's, I'm actually going to tell you, like, it's like almost instant bond here. Let me see. Hold on. Let me add. Ooh, I can't use this one. And your phone's dead. Okay. Um, yes, I burned myself super bad yesterday, Kim. Susan Tapley, I don't know what you're speaking of. I don't know why I would be cracking you up. I mean, I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay. So we've got that part built. Oh, I love it. All right, now we gotta figure out the divot on this thing. How are we gonna do that? We could use a little drill bit, I'm sure. And like, like do this around it. Okay, let's let's figure this part out now. Hey babe, you wanna do me a favor? Very gently and gingerly, can you put this on the island back there? to make it stay. It's like glued on, but it's not obviously set yet. It needs to set for a while. Okay. Probably actually stop. Stop right there. Place it on top of that box because you know why we're going to have, I need to take it back from you in a second. I forgot that quick. All right. So here's what I'm going to attempt to do here. Right about here. Okay. I'm going to draw a little circle. And I'm going to do a little divot in this area, right in that area. I'm wicked funny, huh, Sue? Yeah. <laughs> you are welcome, Cat. Do you have, do you have a dr a Dremel? Um, Kim, I'm not even a pot. I'm not even sure what that is. So, so yeah, Brand says we don't have a Dremel. How did he say it? Dremel? Okay. Am I saying it right? Dremel. Dremel. Okay. So, how do I do this again? Let's get this undone. Okay. I'm going to add this. Okay. I'm going to attempt this idea. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to test it out. I'm going to just see. Maybe if I just put the drill bit in and just kind of wiggle it around a little. Maybe like, like this. I don't know. My God, it's wobbly. What's the secret? What do you do? Oh, I think I got it now. Okay, so I'm going to just attempt this. Just to wiggle it around. Oh, I made it dot. Whoops. That is important. We need that. Dremel would work. Dremel. Yes. Hi, Kristen Dang. I'm not even... I think a Dremel is the thing that's got the wide screwdriver looking thingy. I think. Yeah, that probably would be pretty awesome, but womp, womp, we don't have that. And the closest person that would have that is away for the weekend, so... I'm just going to do my best and just, you know, play around. Hey. Why do I? It's like, what? Weeble wobbling. What did I do? Help. Now I can't get it out. How do I make it not weeble wobble? I don't know how to do that. I don't know the magic that you do when you make it go. I don't know how to use this one. I know how to use the other one. Don't use the other one. It's the battery may be dead. <laughs> That's what I did. Why is it not working? That's it. What? No. I'm just holding one hand and drill it like that. It's not. <laughs> I don't want to drill into it. I just want to make it a, a little wide angle. I don't know. I can tell you there. Okay. 
Well, that's okay. We, we just will not do that. I wonder, what if I put that over it? Yes, whoever said the larger washer, that's probably going to be a really good idea. Or, I may have another idea. You know what else could probably work? If I had one of these things, but bigger. Hey, and that black bag there, sir. Is there another box like this? I have an idea. I am dangerous with the answers, Dana. Don't, nobody put it together the way that I show, the bad way. I'm just giving you the idea. Use some elbow grease. <laughs> no. Yes, Cheryl, I think so. It's not in that one? No. So it might be in the red, red bag that's behind the couch. I think I kept the red bag over there. You guys, if anything, I'm hoping you are a little bit entertained. But you're seeing the good idea that's going to come of this. Is it not back there? The red bag? It's the old red bag? Or is that the old red bag? What's the other bag then? We green one we got with the tools. Where's the one you got then? Thank you, Jess. You just brought my blood pressure down. I'm so glad. But hole in challenge chip on bottom? <gasps> Cat... That is a great idea. Cat brought up a good idea, babe. Hold on. Don't stop looking for that. What if... Got an idea. How long does this project take, by the way? <laughs> it's like there's 10 steps deal in this. Hush your face. You like that, you guys? Hush your face. What if we put a hole in this large enough for the head to go through? So you see how the head, where's the screw that I was using? It'll bump it up enough and the head could sit in there. What are you doing there? Okay. Drill me a hole through that, but make it fat enough that this head can go and sit the nicely. The head of the screw? Yes. You don't have nothing that big. So then we'll drill next to it. Here, drill me a hole in the center there real quick. Here, and put it underneath here so people can see what you're doing. <laughs> no. And it wouldn't be big enough. You'd have to, you'd Listen to me. You... Uh, yes, so center and and a little then above. That's not in the center. Okay, well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Levita, that is, oh wait, who said that? Someone said it. Who said it? Cat said it. Debbie Green, I'm glad. Hi, Linda Stanley. This is great. See, people like this. They're entertained, Bran. You uh, don't think you sing through before you do them, I take it, huh? Sometimes I don't. No. <laughs> no you don't, don't go into the electric goofball. That's why I'm pushing you underneath here. Over here. Reach to do it over here. That's okay. Put people this are... thing in my face. So slide over a bit. There you go. Is that going the right way? Yeah, where are the drill bits for this? Where did you get these at? They're in the one bag. Did you move Did it? You not, the green bag's back here. Where are all the bits that go with it, though? I, they were all in a baggie that I had on here, and I think I gave them to you to put inside there. Well, yeah. That came with it? That thing. No, there was none that came with it. You just got the drill. So I pulled over the other bits that we had. This is bigger than anything we have. I know it is. Where'd you get it from? From the hardware store when I bought this, when oh, I was putting say, my anchors look, in. It doesn't fit there, so I know. it's bigger than that. Correct. Okay. So, here. Drill it through. Just okay. don't, please don't kill my self-healing pad. What's a self-healing pad? This thing. Did you go through? No, almost. Okay. Now, do it next to it. A little, like go in halfway to the next of the hole. Don't go all the way over, like halfway over. No, it's, uh, you can't drill it that easy because then it slides. Okay. 
It doesn't matter how big it is as long as it's big enough and I'll fill it with glue. It's fine. We got this now. The drill bit is a... See? Yeah, it's a bugger, it this drill. Right? I go next to it. You know I can chomp through that with a crocodile. And the drill is being a... Well, then what do you do? Because I need it to be sort of centered. So it doesn't go... Well, how would it not be if you're using that tool? Well, the crocodile won't go that far in. No? I don't think so. Hold on. I think it will. I don't think it will. Hold on. This is all my crafty tools. I don't think, I don't think it'll go that far to the center. Oh, get up there. Oh, to the center. We are probably not. That's what I'm talking about. What a worthless tool that thing is. <laughs> It's not it's worthless. Like alligator arms. It's worthless. It's really not. Just here, don't even adjust it. Just give it a quick thing. So I know it'll go. It, hold on, let me push it all the way back so it will go. So it's got room to go in. Yeah, see, I'm almost there. <laughs> it's almost there. That tool's worthless. Ah. <laughs> slides in there if you go too next. So I gotta go next to it. Okay, then. that's fine. You can make a whole nother hole next to it. It's cool. It keeps Please keep your fingers it. away, though. Because you're sort of scaring me. Uh, well, this is a slippery surface, too, so there's that. Hey, watch your finger. Uh, okay, I'll make it happen. Let go. Too close to sliding off the surface and going right to the other hole. So, there's that. Here, what if you do this? What? That is horrible. I know. That's as far as, an, I go, as it goes. Then that's why, why I need the drill. Time? You just... What if you go like this? No, I'm not doing it. This isn't a wood shop here. Okay? <laughs> not. So. No. There you go. There's your other hole. <laughs> How do we drill it in the center? Can I do a hammer and a nail? What would that do? I don't know. Watch your fingers, though. So. It just keeps sliding off. You just something to punch through. That's what I was saying. Can it's I just pretty use... much through? You just use something to kind of. Oh, I see what you did. The bit itself. Yes, yes, yes. Kinda it's kinda through. It is it through. Use it this. is through. Yes. And round it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Close my eyes. Guys, you don't have to do this if you get a flat try, a flathead screw. Oh. Okay. This is an official project. This is just something you're winging. And you don't have that many tools, so. It is not, an official you're, you're, project. You're kind of like, no, you know what I mean. You're kind of just trying to do it with what you have. So you don't have the proper stuff. So, I don't know. Next time, maybe, if, unless we can get through what we have, I wouldn't do it. Because everyone else has good suggestions, but they also either had the, that equipment or, you know what I mean? We don't have any of that stuff. You're using drill bits to hollow it out. Correct. So, there's that. Got it, I think. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. It's going to be able to hook, I think, right in. <laughs> Everyone is dying, they said. Ka! Ka! Yes, you need to come over here. <laughs> Kyle's on. Um, Thanks for finally joining, Colleen. Jess Please. and my husband would have given up by now. We only get along for the first five minutes of our project. Where did I get my chalkboard? Steph, they are our chalkboards that I offer through my Chalk Couture online store. Okay, so if I were this guy. <gasps> this works. You guys. <laughs> Steph. Stephanie, you can purchase them right through my online store. They're a Grayson 9x12, a Grayson 12x18, and a board and, pe pe board and pedestal. All right, let me have that back, hubby. What? That. Why do I have so many of these? Oh, one is going on. I remember now. I remember now. I recall. So, let's see if this shall work. Okay, go ahead. Place it down right in the center for me, please. 
go. Okay, look at this. Ha ha ha! Yes! Look at that. Bam! We fixed it. We got this, you guys. I am a mess without Colleen. I really am. Okay, so. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some hot glue around like this. And I probably should do the E6000 as well, but I'm not going to. Okay, watch now. Hold on. What did I do with the little screw? Here it is. Now, it's not going to be fail proof for me because I don't have the flat head, but at least I can get this to sit on here now. And that is pretty awesome. Why is this not fitting? Is this the one I'm supposed to be using? No, it's this one. little top heavy but it's it's working much better it's much better I'm afraid to glue the chalkable chip to it because if I do it may not work there you go there we go you guys hold on I'm gonna see if I can adjust this so that way you guys can see this Ouch. Ow. Okay, hold on. These are necessities that I must keep. Let's see if I can adjust. Oh, I can't really adjust it. Oh, dang it. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let's go like this. Oh, here we go. I can't see. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, ready? We're going to come back to this. Okay, so don't mind all the nonsense in the background. But there we go. Look at that. Leave a theory to your tray. How awesome, huh, you guys? Now, tomorrow I will decorate it. I should have, before I put the one thing back on, I should have put my design on it and showed you guys that. But guess what? We made this puppy, and it works. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I'm so excited. I am so excited. And remember, you guys, so I still have four left. While I am live, you have to go in and purchase, and you have to say hashtag happy fall. If you're watching on replay, um, we'll let that work, too. Hashtag happy fall. Um, but you have to say that. If you don't say it, you don't get the card. And once they're all filled, we go into my VIP group, and we scratch them all off. So, you lost sound call? Crud. It might be my fault. Hi, Leanne. Leanne, did you hear me um, earlier? I don't know if you had, if I missed your comment, but hopefully, hopefully we're okay. Do you guys hear sound? Let me see. Hey. Oh yeah, we definitely have sound. Okay. Another one was purchased. Oh, thanks. Who purchased? I'll have to go back and see. Burn. All right. Burn's got one. So we're down to only having three. Oh, I'm so glad, Stephanie. I'm so glad you're going to like this. Let me fill out Burn's name. Bernadette. Okay. 
Awesome, awesome. Now, don't forget. Okay, good. You guys can hear me. Don't forget, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be live in my VIP group with some retired services and some retired transfers and some current transfers that are currently out of stock, some kits that are out of stock. So definitely make sure you join in over there. If you want to join my VIP group and you're not in it, you ha you cannot be a designer. I'm sorry. Um, but as a customer, you can come in. Um, or as someone who's interested in becoming a customer, you can totally come into it. All you got to do is comment me down below and I will send you the link or the link to my group is in the description down below on both YouTube and Facebook. Um, awesome. And wait, who's commenting box? Um, Leanne, I can, I will message you the details on the box after I'm live. It won't pick it up. I don't think from my VIP group. Um, how do I hang my transfers? Great question, Pam. And I don't know if you guys can see behind me. I have grid walls that we mounted onto my wall. And I put all of my inventory plus my personal C, D, and E's in there. And then my A's and B's I just have in a basket behind me because they fit. Where are you doing the Mary Project? What time? Oh, Lynn Griffiths. Are you, did you purchase the Mary? Cause I got to put you down. I'll be, I'm going to be doing, I think it's two weeks, uh, two Saturdays from now, I think it is. And I'm going to send out an event. So let me add you to the list. Lynn Griffiths. Add to be Mary. Yes. The be Mary zoom. Anybody who purchases the Be Merry kit, it is due to come back this week, I believe. Um, and they're, they're going to go quick. Um, anybody who purchases the Be Merry Chalk Made kit, you're going to get to create it together on a live private Zoom that I will be hosting for anybody who purchased them from my online store. So there is that. Oh, okay, Lynn. Um, okay, sounds good. What time do the festivities start tomorrow? Where, oh, festivities, Lynn, they are today, or Stephanie, they are today in my VIP group at 2 o'clock p.m. Tomorrow, I'll be live about 4 o'clock p.m. to put together the tier tray um, on my, uh, on my business, you know, where how I usually do my lives. Be merry, okay, you want one, Lynn, you got it. And you will be in my group, perfect, perfect, Lynn, you will see some in there. Um, Steph, the Harvest Paste, um, that is TBD, but are you in my VIP group? You might be able to see some of them. You'll be online at two. Awesome, Lynn. And yes, Be Merry. Burn, you bought one too? I will add you to the group as well of my list of people. Bernadette as well. There you go, Burn. You're ready to rock and roll. So there we go. Um... Yeah, it's going to be super fun. I, I love that we'll get a chance. Thank goodness for technology to bring us all together, right? Um, it, it'll, it'll be a good time, I think, you guys. So definitely let me know. I will let you guys know the second they come back in my online store because they are going to fly out quick, those Be Merry kits. So um, they are, uh, yes, burn, but I will message you as well as Lynn. Um, okay, need, you guys both need them. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, hi, Heidi. How are you? Heidi, I just made Carrie's um, tear tray, and it was not pretty, but I did use some power tools. Needs a little bit of work, and I, we figured out some things like flathead screws, um, but that's good. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. Okay, Burn, you got it. I see your message. I will message you. Um you want to practice before you start. Let's see. Hold on. Wait, who said that? I... Hey, Colleen. Awesome, Lynn. I get you. Can you be in your VIP group if you were Club Couture? You sure can. Here, I'll message you the link. Um, I like stamping. I'm responding to your... Um, there's the link to my VIP group. Um, cheers to Big Brand Burn said. Ah, thanks, Heidi. I and Anna's going to put me to shame. She's building big cabinets instead. <laughs> and, and, and let know I'm not all high on that thing I got for the ears. Oh, Burn, he said he's not high on the thing he got for his ears the other day. He doesn't like it. You're welcome, I like stamping. Uh, I like stamping. What is your real name? Um, So I can, when I see the request, I can approve you. I love stamping. That's my real name. 
No, that's her YouTube name. I'm going to build cabinet. That's you. That you're good, Anna. Colleen Kleppy, I will message you the details on the box because sometimes it doesn't come over when you're in my VIP group. It's linked to my business page. So you it, you might have to go over on my business page and in, in the live, which is the same live, um, and comment on there. Okay. Um, let me know. I like stamping. Let me know what you're... Oh, Pam, you got it. All right. When As soon as you send the request, I will add you in there. Um... And we will get you, we'll get you all set. We will get you all set, girl. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see you guys. It's going to be, like I said, I got a, a lot of retired stuff that I didn't even realize I had, which I should be ashamed of myself sometimes because, you know, oh, Pam, I already approved you. You are, you're good to go. Um, we go and lisa if you requested you are good to go there we go okay um where did you get the cute baskets stephanie i got these off amazon i can message you the link for them um yeah burn said she figured you weren't gonna like it yeah and colleen hold on i think i'm in the middle of trying to get the link to show you Hold on one second. I'm trying. Anybody that commented box and it didn't get sent. Hold on. I'm trying to send it over right now. I need to remember to put the link in my notes. Wait, did I actually? No, I wasn't smart enough to do that this time. Hold on. Let me get the link to it and I can just respond to you guys really quickly. Um, no. What? I don't. Whatever. Not now. Not now. Not now. I decided not now. I don't want to connect my devices. Hold on one sec. I'm getting there. One, two, what happens? Here comes the details. Copy link. Get link. Okay. So, Colleen, here is the link for the box. So you can go in and look at it. Lynn, I think you requested the link. Leanne Parker, here is the link to the box. What? Why is it not able to be displayed right now? What happened? Um, this is, why it's not happening? There it goes, in my VIP group. Leanne, Colleen, and who else? Someone else commented box. Ginny, I think it was. Um, oh, Burn. There you go. I responded with the box details. There you go, Jen. You should get it. Rhonda, I will. Here is the link to the box. How are you doing, Rhonda? How are you, girl? There you go. Okay, let me just see if there's anybody else who commented box from YouTube because it doesn't. It doesn't send it over. Oh, Jan Stye, you're so cute. Thanks, Ka. Thank you, guys. Hold on, I'm just scrolling through really quickly because, like I said, YouTube is a little funny. It doesn't, um, I wish it would let me do the box, but it doesn't. I wish it would. I wish it would. Let me just make sure. Do big enough, da, da, da. You guys are so funny. Okay, so it only lets me scroll back so far. Um, there it goes. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'll see you all in my VIP group at 2 o'clock p.m. I can't even show you. It's it just it's crazy how much I've got. Um, but like I said, um, we will make it happen. Um, we'll make it we'll make it work. And uh yeah, we'll go from there. But 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only in my VIP group. And I will be back tomorrow to do the final decor and put it all on my cute new little tear tray. I can't wait. It's so adorable. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Make it an awesome Saturday. Um, and why is this not working? That's awesome. And I will talk. Oh, come on. What is happening here? There it goes. And I will talk to you all later. Lots of technical difficulties, guys. Okay, bye.